Now, let's randomly answer questions na nakapost dito sa Civil Service Exam 2021 Community, isang FB group na lagi kong tinatambayan. Isa sa mga FB group na lagi kong tinatambayan. At ito ay galing kay Ma'am Rachel Castro. Sagutan natin itong apat na mga tanong dito. Siguro this is under geometry. Ilagay natin ito under geometry. Unahin muna natin yung shortcut. Yung number 1 at number 2. This 2 can be solved in just less than 3 seconds. 3 seconds kasi titingnan mo pa siya. Tapos ma-realize mo na parihong x, ito naman ay parihong 7. So sa number 1, ang sagot dito ay x is equals to 5. Ang number 2 naman, ang sagot dito ay 7 square root of 2. Now, dahan-dahanin na natin at explain natin ito gamit yung mga simpleng words. Basahin muna natin si number 1. The legs of a right triangle are congruent. Kapag sinabing congruent, pariho lang sila. So, since x ang sinulat dito, x din dito, bali, find the value of x. Find the length of each leg. Pariho yung length dito. And the hy hypotenuse is 5 square root of 2. Now remember, kapag congruent ito, itong dalawang sides na to, at meron siyang right angle, this means this is isosceles right triangle. At ito ang huwag niyong kalimutan kapag hanapin natin yung hypotenuse dito or yung mga sides, yung legs dito. Kasi yung ratio nito ay 1 is to 1 is to square root of 2. So, bali, para klaro lang, this is our side A, side B, side C. So, this is A is to B is to C. Pero dapat yung A at B natin ay pariho. So, pwede nating i-replace yan ng X. X itong dalawa. Yung C natin dito ay equals to 5 square root of 2. Remember na itong ratio na ito ay constant kapag isosceles right triangle. Itong number 1 at number 2 ay parihong isosceles right triangle. Now, since itong 1 is to 1 is to square root of 2 ay ratio yan, kung paano naging 5 square root of 2. So, bali, si square root of 2 ay multiply natin ng 5. So, ganun din ang gagawin natin sa ating next na ratio. So, kung 1 yan, ibig sabihin, this is 5 is to 5 is to 5 square root of 2. Therefore, x is equals to 5. At sa number 2 naman, since this is 7 is to 7 is to Yung square root of 2 natin, this is 7 square root of 2. So, ang sagot dito ay 7 square root of 2. Now, doon na tayo sa pinaka-detalying solution using the pita... Wait ha, delete natin lahat. Itong Pythagorean Theorem. Paano nga ba i-pronounce ito? Pakinggan natin ito kung paano nga ba i-pronounce ito. Pythagorean. Ganon, basta ganon. At ang formula na ito ay A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So, yung, this is A, B, C. Since pariho naman itong A at B natin, so, ang isulat lang natin ay a squared plus a squared 
equals yung c squared. Yung c squared natin or yung c natin ay 5 square root of 2. So, this is 5 square root of 2 squared. Now, we can solve this in two ways. Bali, isolve muna natin yan. Yung unang paraan ay ito ay 5 square root of 2. So, isa-isahin natin yan. 5 squared tapos itong square root of 2 squared. Si 5 squared is equals to 25. Yang point na yan, multiplication yan siya. So, square root of 2 squared, cancel na yan natin at yung 2 na lang ang natira. So, this is 25 times 2 is equals to 50. Ang isa pang paraan nito ay itong 5 square root of 2 na, na in-square natin. Yang nasa loob na 5 square root of 2 ay yung 5 ilagay mo na natin siya sa mismong square root. Ibalik natin siya. So, paano natin ibalik yung 5? 5 times 5 is equals to 25. So, this is square root of 25 times 2 squared. Now, 25 times 2 and that is equals to 50. So, na meron tayong 50, square root of 50 squared. Next, itong square root sign natin at itong squared, cancel mo lang yan and that is equals to 50. Parihong 50. So, therefore, this is equals to 50. So, this is equals to 50. Next, a squared plus a squared and that is equals to 2 a squared. Ikip natin si a squared. Tapos si 2, para klaro. Since uh, si 2 ay pang multiply sa a squared, pang divide na ngayon siya sa 50. Paano? Nag-divide tayo ng 2 to both sides para ma-cancel si 2 dito at ma-isolate na si a squared. a squared is equals to 50 divided by 2 and that is 25. Ang hinahanap natin ay yung value mismo nitong a or yung x dyan. Kasi x ang variables na nandito mismo. Now, a squared equals 25. Ang gagawin natin ay square root natin both sides para a na lang ang matira. Square root of 25 is equals to 5. Therefore, ang x dito I equals to 5. Ito na yung pinaka-detalye kung bakit 5 ang sagot dito sa number 1. Now, let's do number 2. Kung paano namang 7 square root of 2 ang sagot dito sa number 2. So, bali itong a squared natin at saka si b squared, yan naman ang gagawin natin. Since pariho namang 7 siya, so yan yung gagawin natin a squared or kahit b squared lang kasi sabi natin this is equals to 7 this is a is equals to 7 b is equals to 7 so parihong 7 is squared natin yan this is also 7 is squared natin yan at hinahanap natin ay yung hypotenuse so this is c squared at yung c natin ito yung diagonal dito na letter d ang nakasulat now, isolve muna natin. 7 times 7 is equals to 49. So, this is 49 plus 49 is equals to C squared. 49 plus 49, that is equals to 98. So, 98 is equals to C squared. Ang hinahanap natin ay yung C lang. So, ang gagawin natin ay square root natin both sides. So, this one is makancel na yung squared natin. So, this is letter C na lang siya. Now, square root of 98. Hanapan natin ng factors in such a way na malis natin yan siya ba na makakuha tayo ng perfect na square root dyan. Obviously, ang perfect na square root na makuha natin dyan ay yung 49. Dalawang 49 yan. So, this is times 2. 49 times 2 is equals to 
98. Now, square root of 49, bali ito kasi ay pariho lang sa square root of 49 times square root of 2. So, square root of 49 is equals to 7. Tapos, ang natitira mo na lang ay yung square root of 2. Kaya, ang sagot dito ay 7 square root of 2. So, ito na yung sagot sa number 2. At ito naman ang pinakadetaling solusyon kung bakit ang sagot sa number 2 ay 7 square root of 2. At ito naman ang abangan nyo, ang find the value of x and y dito sa parallelogram. Itong finding the value of x and y, ganun din dito sa number 4, ay kailangang kabisaduhin nyo, hindi lang dahil estudyante kayo, kundi after na makagraduate kayo, kapag mag-take kayo ng mga exams, lalo na kapag may math, hindi nawawala yung finding the value of x and y. So, yung mag-transfer, transfer, yung pagsama yung mga like terms, kung paano yun. So, napaka-importante itong susunod na tutorial video natin. Thank you for watching and God bless.